hope you're not voting for yellow, because I'll kick your ass if you're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you want. Let's see what we've got. Does everyone play? Right. Advanced negotiation techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. All right. All right. Reveal. Let's get it done. Um. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! Three captains. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> that bit us in the ass. <laughs> Royally. So what's all that commotion about? Lifeboats by Z-Man Games. Um where you're in a boat that's hit a reef and you're trying to make it to the shores via lifeboats. Um, the goal is to get as many of your sailors across to the islands uh, via the lifeboats. How are you going to do this? Voting. So you're going to form alliances, break alliances, lie, bluff, negotiate, barter, just do whatever it takes to not get voted overboard. Uh, costs $60 Australian, well priced, you're getting some good wooden boats, sailor pawns, game boards, good and it's one killer multiplayer game. Uh, players three to six, I'm going to say it's as, it's better with as many people as you can get on board this sinking ship. Um, I've played with seven and two of us shared the responsibility of one team and that, that was a fantastic game, full of laughs uh, as you saw in the footage before. And uh, that was both me and my best mate working together and getting kicked overboard for shark food. Um, but look, it's a great fun, great fun. Um, Approximate time, you're looking around 90 minutes, that's what it says on the box, uh, and that's about right, but I'll explain later how you can modify that to your liking um, for a bit of a quicker game. So how is it played? Each player will get a boat in his chosen colour, and the black one is always played. You'll get some sailor pawns, two officers that are worth more points, a deck of cards as well, one for each colour participating in the game, and three captain's cards which overall votes providing no other player has played one. Each card after being played will be returned to your hand for future votes except captain cards which can only be played once per game. You will first vote on which boat receives a leak. After negotiations, players play a card face down. They are then revealed. Whichever boat has the most votes receives a leak, in this case red. So red receives a leak token. Because the boat has no free spots for the leak to fill, the players in the red boat must vote a player overboard. They all play a card after negotiating. Voting is done a little differently here, as each sailor in the boat is worth one vote, and each officer is worth two. So yellow has two officers for a voting power of four. The red player has a vote of two for his single officer. Green has three with his three sailors. Because red and green both played yellow cards, their vote is added and yellow is removed and the leak is put in his space. Players then vote for a lifeboat to move forward. The red and green player both vote captain cards, so neither overrule the vote as they cancel each other out and yellow gets his way and the green boat is moved forward. Players then move one pawn from the back of the boat to change boats. A player cannot get back in the same boat he left. So, yellow goes in the green boat from the black. Green goes in the black boat. And red cannot enter the red boat because it's full. He can then select from the indicated spots. If the indicated spots were full, with either sailors or leaks, there would become no spot for red to go and he would be removed from play. Play continues like this until all boats are at the island or the bottom of the sea. My thoughts. Look, obviously not a game for everyone. I'm really fortunate I have a, a gaming group that can approach this in a light-hearted manner and uh, it plays quite well. Uh, it's a great game for those who know what kind of journey they're about to embark on. I basically explain at the start of the game uh, how it plays and what people will be doing in a turn and give people an out if they don't think it's going to suit them knowing that, again, not a game for everyone. Um, the components are great, you've got to love the boats, the pawns. Considering this is a mid-range uh, mid price game, the components are that of what you'd probably expect in a sort of higher price range. Uh, I think it's going to get played a bit by us. I don't think it's going to hit the table all the time, um, but when it comes out, I'm going to be really happy that it did. Um, in a group with more players, I'm going to say, look, it can feel like it's going to drag a little. 
Uh, the way we approach this is we started the boats on the second line when there was more players, uh, effectively reducing the play time by a fair bit. Uh, it mentions in the rule books perhaps a, a timer for negotiations, something I'm yet to try but I'm sure would work well um, for those groups who have better negotiation skills than mine. Again, the footage before. Uh, the rule book is clear with uh, good examples. There are a few questions not answered, but there is no problems that really truly hinder the, the gameplay. Um, as long as you agree beforehand how you're going to resolve those those issues. Um, is it okay for kids? A box says 12 plus. It's really going to come down to the individual playing this. Um, I know a couple of 30 year olds I wouldn't play this game with because they quite honestly would probably never talk to me again if I voted for them. Um, but in saying that I know a 14 year old that, that would love it. Um, so again I'll give you the information in, and I think it's best for you to decide whether it's suitable for your kids or not. Uh, for me, this is going to stay in my collection. It won't get pulled out weekly, but when the right people are over, I'd be kicking myself if it wasn't on my shelf anymore. So, Z-Man Games Lifeboats, it's a 7 out of 10 for me. Uh, a good game when approached uh, lightheartedly.